Hey, what is up guys? This is Primal Dialga, and today we're going to be looking at a trailer by Ubisoft North America, and they just posted a trailer about a Starlink Battle for Atlas Crimson Moon announcement. This might be the spring update that we've been told about, the one where you can play as all the members of Star Fox and you have to go find the other members of Star Wolf and hunt them down, but there might be a little bit more to this. Um, they're also supposed to announce uh, Starship Racing and Faction Missions. We, I still have no idea what a Faction Mission is, so this will maybe shed some light on that. I'm a really big fan of Starlink Battle for Atlas. Uh, I made a video fairly recently about how it didn't perform as well as expected, but maybe this can turn the tide on the game. I have not seen this trailer yet. So, we'll be watching it for the first time together. Alright, let's go. Welcome, one and all Welcome the to the Crimson they Moon. Fortune. Fortune. I I guess he's like a genie or something? I don't know. Let's go. In my house now. Oh. The Outlaw Games. I kind of like that. There seems to be a lot of outlaws just kind of everywhere. And they, they all have their own kind of leadership, I guess. Like, if you... Because you can go raid... I guess that's the right word. Certain outlaw outpost things uh, and steal their stuff. So, yeah, I guess they're, they're competing for, for something. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, so this is the racing. Okay. It's a little bit like the um, like the racing that they have in Star Wars in, I think, Episode One, where Anakin is racing. I don't know. That that it's just a quick thought. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Oh. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. Oh my god. What? what? Did that explosion go like out of the planet? Hold on. Because that's pretty, pretty intense. Okay, no, it was just a big. Never mind. I, I miss. I did not see it correctly. What the? What was that? It's like a prime, but it has two legs instead of four. It's like a a mecha prime, I guess. That what the heck? You get him, cheap. What is his name? God dang, chief. I think I don't know. It's <gasps> something weird like that. He's the robot guy. I, I don't see any Star Fox. What's going on? You have one minute to redeem yourself. Okay. What? Wait, so we can... What? Are these new people you can play as? Okay. What was that? Is he a... <laughs> it's like in Metroid when you turn into your... You turn into the ball and you just roll around. That's pretty litty. I still don't see any Star Fox. There we go, there we go. <laughs> as soon as I say that. Hello there, Star Fox. Andrew. Andrew. Got a few bad guys to catch. Yes! <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Let me handle this one, Fox. Whoa, is that a... That's definitely new. Because usually when you use a shield, it just protects your own ship. It doesn't doesn't make a whole wall around you 
It's like. Sounds like a job for a slippy toe. <laughs> Do you think you're ready? Then let the games begin. Let the games begin. All right, that's pretty cool. I just want to. I just want to see that. That art real quick. Yeah, there we go. That is cool. So I guess this. This is the main guy that's in charge of the outlaw games. I don't know what I don't know who these other people are or what's going on, but that looks that looks awesome. Ah f five what what's today? Today's the twenty fifth. So five days until we get this. I wonder I wonder how big of an update this thing is, because Starlink is already a pretty it's not terrible, it's a, but it is a beefy game. Like, I think I had to... I, I think I had to do a, an update or something. I had to download something. I don't know. I just know that it's a pretty beefy game and that uh, I don't have a whole lot of room on my Switch. So, might need to go buy a micro SD, another, a bigger micro SD card. This will really add a lot to a game a game that's already huge like the game let's let's do a little bit of <laughs> I was googling how to do a reaction video without getting copyright claimed let's do some shameless self-promotion cuz that let's we don't need them we don't need their them in the background but the game is already huge like not in terms of everyone's playing it but like the Atlas star system is already huge, like there's seven planets that you can go to, and then there's asteroids and all this other stuff that is in between, and then there's the outlaw outposts or whatever they're called that are just floating in space, so you can go over there and, and mess with them, steal their stuff. And then there's tasks that you can do, because once you get, once you get a planet fully under Starlink's control, you know, the, the Legion fights back a little bit, so you have to still do missions and stuff to maintain total control of a planet. And so it keeps you engaged already, but the fact that they're adding so much to the game are after this, you know, after it's already just a huge game, they're adding more to it. I mean, this could be a game that I waste so much time on. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for, for this update in five days uh, I need to see how big of an update it is if it's more than like maybe if it's more than maybe four gigabytes or something then I'm gonna definitely have to get a micro SD card but yeah I I'm really excited for it I think maybe 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 if the word gets out that a game that's already you know you can already dump at least a couple hundred hours into the game no problem that they're adding so much to it on top of that that will get around and people will start getting into the game you know a while after it's released kind of like how Sea of Thieves was because everyone when Sea of Thieves came out except you know a lot of people knew about Sea of Thieves when it came out a lot of people got it but then they're like eh it's kind of sucks and then I've heard that they've done updates. I don't know the details of it, but they've done updates to make it more playable. Maybe not to the degree that some people would like, but they've done updates to make it better. So I I think I think this is definitely a step in the right direction if they're trying to get their sales numbers up and whatnot. So I I need to go back. It looked like there was a new characters that you could play as. What did it say? It said expand your roster and then eh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm guessing that these are people that you can have join your team, join the Starlink initiative, whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's not people that you can play as, right? Maybe it is. I don't know, because I guess you know, you can play as Eli Arborwood, and then that green dude that you meet at the very beginning, I don't know what his name is, but maybe maybe those are people you can play as. And unfortunately, there was that update by Ubisoft that said 
they weren't going to make any more physical toys for the game. They were just going to make, you know, they're going to release them digitally. So it kind of sucks that if there's new ships, I don't get an actual, I don't get an actual figure of the ship. I just, you know, it's digital, whatever. But I guess I have enough ships, whatever. It's, it's cool. Let me know what you think about this new Crimson Moon update announcement thingy and I will see you guys in the next video.